literally came to the HDFC bank being paid to close my 1250 ka loan. I don't know what happened but uh, I closed the loan almost one month ago and abhi tak I did not get the NOC. So when I called the customer care they told me I have to visit the branch which is literally in Begum Pet almost 20 kilometers away from where I stay. But still the thing is after I came here the work is not done because they were telling me that the RC is not being updated because of that uh, the NOC has not been issued. Which means again I'll have to come here they can't uh, send it to my uh, registered mailing address. Irritating yaar. Yeah. literally coming to this particular branch after one and a half year two years almost so when i sold my seltos same thing i had a zip drive loan i had to close it here this time actually i was so excited that i can close the loan online itself net banking pay and i did that paisa to immediate chale gaya whatever outstanding amount i had to pay that's gone but noc was not dispatched i thought 15 working days they will send it it didn't come but feels good coming to begum pet after a long long time bro <laughs> So here's the breakup of our BMW 1250 GS Adventure, aka Emperor. How much did it actually cost? How much loss we made? How much profit we made? Maybe on this particular bike. This costed me around 25 lakhs change. Was split into two things: down payment, 15 lakhs. Now this 15 lakhs I got from selling our dark horse, which is around I think 7.5 lakhs I sold it for, and another 7.5 lakhs I got it out of my savings. 15 lakhs. down payment now the baki ka 10 lakhs i got it from a loan total 15 plus 10 lakhs is equal to 25 lakhs now for this loan of 10 lakhs i had to pay an emi of 20997 rupees per month which was approximately the interest part 5000 rupees per month whether i use it or not doesn't matter i have to pay this much as interest capital ka separate now going to the second part of it the loan tenure is around 60 months but we kept the bike not so long we kept it only for 33 months 33rd month is when i sold it i paid 20997 into 33 months which is approximately 6,92,901 rupees this much of amount we paid towards this loan of 10 lakhs now effectively i paid 15 lakhs from my pocket directly 6 Lakhs ninety two thousand nine zero one as loan. This already gone to my pocket effectively. This is not going to come back. Twenty one lakhs ninety two thousand nine zero one rupees as of thirty three months. On the thirty third month, I sold it for twenty lakhs twenty thousand. There's a difference of one lakh seventy two thousand nine hundred and one rupees. This is the amount of loss I made. Sir, additional sheet. So we just got a loss of one lakh seventy two thousand nine not one rupees. Is this the only loss? No, no, no. Because we need to pay back the loan, right? We paid only six lakhs ninety two thousand nine not one rupees to the bank. We took a loan of ten lakhs, right? Five lakhs twenty seven thousand eight ninety four, including penalties and all that. So what do you need to do? You need to add this particular amount to one lakh seventy two thousand. Nine not one seven lakh seven hundred and ninety five rupees. This is the exact amount I lost by selling the BMW twelve fifty, the Emperor, in the last two years. But 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 I'm a YouTuber. I make my living through this bike, particularly by getting brand deals by riding. So as a YouTuber, obviously we generate revenue out of these bikes and stuff. That's kind of our main content. I'm pretty sure through brand deals and ad revenue, I made that seven lakhs back, or maybe we are even in profit. So basically, you can call this bike as a no profit or no loss, or maybe even a little bit. profit but for sure not a loss i'm talking only in financial terms emotional aspect i'll not talk much about it because let's start from the benelli i used to own a charisma first feeling the power of the 220 cc that bike was so powerful at its time like 220 cc bike was able to generate that much amount of torque in the second gear i used to love it so much i thought Someday I have to experience a bigger bike, at least 500 cc and above. And that time it was very difficult to go into a showroom and buy a 500 cc plus bike because India didn't have that super bike culture. But slowly, when Benelli stepped in, see whatever it is, we have to give it to Benelli because it is because of them stepping into the market on a mainstream level where you have a showroom and just go into the showroom and buy a 300 plus cc bike, just like any other hero Honda. That was something. Otherwise, I would never get to see a super bike anywhere in a showroom, right? So I was very intrigued. I was very interested. to see how a 600 cc bike performs i wanted to own it and then when i came across the benelli i went to the showroom test rode it i didn't even know if a bike should be that particular way but listening to the sound i didn't even like the way it rode because i personally feel it is one of the heaviest and chunkiest looking 600 cc bike not an easy bike to ride one more thing i was never a rider i was a biker i used to like bikes but i never thought of riding long distances after i got the benelli 600 i was thinking now what do i do with this bike because i didn't even have a riding group with me i was alone 
alone and then when i started riding i used to work that time okay i was in a job every sunday i used to take the bike out afternoons after lunch i would take the bike go to shamir pit around 20 kilometers from my old house take a spin on the highway and come back and i used to like that process i used to feel nice riding on the highway and then slowly i started going more and more like 50 became 75 kilometers 75 75 150 kilometers that felt like achieving something that 150 kilometers one day i got up in the morning and i did my first uh, long ride ever to bangalore i had ex extremely good memories with Bangalore. Rode all the way to Bangalore, almost 600 kilometers. And I have to tell you 360 or 370 kilometers, I was dead on the Benelli 600. That is not the right bike to take on a long distance touring. And halfway through, I realized my butt is aching so much, can't go back because going back was another 300 kilometers. Dude, either go front, <laughs> you can't sit there in Anantapur. So I continued my journey, went to Bangalore. First half, I enjoyed riding the bike, but second half was torture. But while coming back after two days, I rested in Bangalore. Like I enjoyed the ride so much. That is where the kick started riding on the highway for hours and hours and enjoying the bike it's i can't explain why and since then no looking back we've done so many rides throughout india left right center rajasthan jaipur sikkim jaipur china border adi idi ladakh rendu sal oh master in india then when i was doing these journeys i was like this is not the right bike there's a different bike we have to get which is called an adventure tourer is when i got the tiger it was such an amazing bike even today i think it is one of the best adventure tourers one of the because the king is always there the 1250 gsa is definitely better in terms of comfort Comfort, torque and all that engine boxer engine pretty good but not a great hardcore off-roader i would say because it's once again chunky intimidating tiger on the other hand i think it's more of a dual purpose so anyway that's how dark horse happened in my life the tiger and then i thought we used it for almost three to four years now is the time to go to the next chapter upgrade the next better bike is the 1250 obviously natural progression and then when i got it the problem is we have done india almost twice by then slowly family life came in also personally got bored of riding there's nothing interesting when i take the bike out on the highway now because i've done it so much that it feels it doesn't give me that reva this is nice the day i felt it when i was going to bangalore that kind of feeling i did not get it the last ride i've done on the 1250 was once again ironically to bangalore if you remember i went for the gs trophy while coming back it was just like i had to ride and come back home but there was no pleasure out of that ride. And since then, no proper rides. And then I have to take the decision. After waiting for almost one, one and a half year, doing no rides, I've taken the decision. I'm not trying to explain why I sold it, but I'm just sharing what went in this head. In which case, the story is gone now. Now I'm still looking for the next chapter. I'm still looking which bike I have to get because definitely that void is there. I definitely feel that uh, there is something missing in my life, which is definitely a bike. So soon I'll be getting one, which one uh, I'm still confused. Whatever 20 lakhs I sold it for, directly I put mutual funds. So 20 lakhs is generating approximately. I a calculator this I finance tips. So what I did is, I took those 20 lakhs, actually it's not 20 lakhs, 15 lakhs is what I'm left with after paying the outstanding loan amount. But I had extra amount, so I invested total 20 lakhs of the bike amount into mutual funds. Let's assume I'm going to get around 13 to 14%. 18% is what is realistic these days. But let's keep it at 14%, 4% less. And to just check how much I'm going to get every year is 2.8 lakhs. This is doing nothing, okay? Just keeping it in mutual funds. If I keep it for 10 years like that, you see the amount that is going to get generated. It, my total value of 20 lakhs after 10 years from now is going to be 74 lakhs, dude. That too at lowest 14% returns. You see this? If by mistake I would make 15% also, this will go to 81 lakhs in the next 10 years. Japani ki ani baani unne kani bike le. Itla double jaise kundo gusunte ekarik bomo. It's not always about investing, investing, investing. You have to invest. Mottam double itla bit koni investment jaise koni mutual funds jaise koni returns this koni aim jaise pote life la waste. That is the reason. This is just an example. I actually did it for now. Instead of just keeping it in the bank, I wanted to keep it in investments so that it grows till I take a decision. When I think. This is the right bike for me to buy that day. I'm going to exit from this mutual fund and then buy it. And no issues, I can take decision anytime because this is pure white money. All taxes paid, so we are good. Hey, but our NOC is still pending and we got it back. Check this out. Seriously, not my fault, but I had to go through all of this. Literally, they made me run for almost two to three branches. And finally, we have the NOC in hand. Now, the biggest process is I have to go to my RTO, which is in Uppal. Because we used to stay in Malkajgiri, right? I have to remove the hypothecation from the RC. And then the new RC card that I get without hypothecation. That RC card, I have to give it to my buyer who is in Bangalore. And he has to get it transferred on his name completely. From there onwards, it's his process. But the the problem is now in this heat of 40, 36 degrees, I have to go to Uppal. Uppal, 
వస్తున్నా లాట్ ఆఫ్ పీపుల్ థింక్ ఇట్స్ ఈజీ సెల్లింగ్ రైట్ యాక్చువల్లీ బయింగ్ ఇస్ ఈజియర్ సెల్లింగ్ ఇస్ ద మోస్ట్ డిఫికల్ట్ ప్రాసెస్ ఫస్ట్ యూ హ్ టు ఫైండ్ అ బయర్ యూ హ్ టు గెట్ ద రైట్ ప్రైస్ ప్రిఫరబ్లీ హీ షుడ్ బి ఫ్రమ్ యువర్ స్టేట్ సో దట్ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ రేట్స్ డోంట్ అప్లై రీ రిజిస్ట్రేషన్ డోంట్ అప్లై అండ్ ఆఫ్టర్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ఇఫ్ యూ గో త్రూ ఆల్ దిస్ మెస్ లైక్ నాట్ ఎన్ఓసి నాట్ గెటింగ్ ట్రిగర్డ్ అండ్ స్టఫ్ సమ్ టెక్నికల్ గ్లిచెస్ విచ్ ఇస్ నాట్ మై ఫాల్ట్ ఇదంత ఫ్రస్ట్రేషన్ లో మాట్లాడుతున్నా ఏమనుకోకండి లెట్స్ After checking the traffic, it's showing almost 50 minutes uh, from Sarnagar to go to Nagul. I've decided to take the metro. I don't have Opika energy to drive all the way here. I'll be doing it. your work is done it only took me 20 25 minutes max to come from sr nagar till here nagol almost uh, i think is going to be 18 or 19 kilometers per get kilometers and distance time is going to be at least 1 hour in this kind of traffic so at least one important work is done once you get used to metro no you can't go back driving in the city is horrible so abhi the process need to be done in reverse i have to go from nagol all the way to sr nagar take my car from there and head back You know what I'm sitting here and editing this vlog and I've just realized one thing I don't know if you guys also realized it when I started this vlog the first time when I went to the Begumpet branch HDFC I was wearing a pink color t-shirt that was shot almost 10 days ago and after that again I had to visit the branch again I had to visit the bank the day I got my NOC almost 10 days later and coincidentally if you observe I was wearing the same t-shirt I think NOC ki pink t-shirt ke the link ko natundi అండ్ ఈ బ్లాగ్ మొత్తం ఎడిట్ చేస్తుంటే ఇప్పుడే రియలైజ్ అయినా మళ్ళీ పింక్ టీషర్ట్ వేసిన ఇది అది కాదు కానీ కలర్ అయితే సేమ్ ఎనివే ఫైనలీ బైక్ ఇస్ సోల్డ్ ఐ మీన్ ఇట్ ఇస్ టెక్నికలీ సోల్డ్ దాట్ డే ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ బట్ ఒఫీషియలీ ఆన్ పేపర్ ఇట్ ఇస్ సోల్డ్ అవి తోడ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ ప్రాసెస్ దెన్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఇస్ క్లోజ్ ప్రాపర్లీ ఆల్ రైట్ సో దెన్ ఐ హోప్ యూ ఎన్ దిస్ బ్లాగ్ ఇన్ కేస్ యూ డిడ్ యూ గైస్ నో వాట్ టు డూ హిట్ ద లైక్ బటన్ డూ షేర్ డూ కమెంట్ డూ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ అండ్ ఐ విల్ సీ యూ గైస్ అండ్ నెక్స్ట్ బ్లాగ్